In this video, we're going to talk about the need for innovation in order to make a more sustainable future. We're going to discuss the UN Sustainable Development Goals as a starting point for that innovation. We're going to talk about the big and messy problems that lie behind those goals. And we're going to talk about how sustainable and profitable business models can help us solve some of the world's biggest problems. It's difficult to talk about sustainability without talking about United Nations. They have played an important role in our understanding of what sustainability is. It started out with the three E's. Uh, equality, uh, environment and economy. Those three E's and someone also said the fourth one, education. And the UN has really been crucial in creating the kind of frameworks that Sveinung is mentioning now that we can think, uh, think about the societies, think about uh, the planet uh, and one of their more recent innovations, very well known, are the UN Sustainable Development Goals. The UN Sustainable Development Goals are 17 goals that try to capture the biggest problems that we face today. If you look at the picture of those goals, it's colorful and nice, but behind every one of those 17 boxes are big and messy problems, some of them social in nature, some of them environmental in nature, and some of them tied to the financial di dimension of society. Behind each and every one of these 17 goals, there are problems, problems to be solved. And in order to solve these problems, we need innovation. And this innovation can be many different things. It can be new programs to tackle poverty. It can be new technologies for how to catch fish in the oceans to get a more sustainable life underwater. And it can be various corporate programs uh, trying to deal with uh, problems related to gender inequality, for instance. The last goal, number 17, is to collaborate to achieve these other 16 goals. And exactly because of the complex nature of all of these sustainability problems, this kind of collaboration, sometimes between companies, so sometimes between companies and the public sector or governments, and sometimes with NGOs collaborating with other kinds of organizations, all of this is necessary to make solutions for these problems. So take for instance a problem as waste. How should we deal with waste in the future? It's obvious we cannot deal with it in the same way as we have done. In part, the waste problem will have to be solved by companies actually generating less waste. In part, it will have to be solved by governmental and also private uh, renovation companies uh, helping to uh, recycle more of the waste that we have. And in part, it will have to be dealt with by individuals like you and me, uh, who also have to take into account how we contribute to the waste problem. Two other examples of, of big problems out there that needs to be solved in, in new ways is corruption and, and human rights. Today, um, countries all over the world are making legislation to ensure that human rights violations don't take place in the value chains of international companies. And the companies themselves are also making concrete action to ensure that they don't have slaves in their value chains, that there are not child labor in their value chains, and so on. In a business perspective, it's crucial that these solutions are also profitable for the companies who design and try to innovate in order to, to, to tackle these difficult problems in, in their business models. So again, when you look at the picture of the 17 SDGs, you should think about how different business models could fit into each of those 17 goals. Because business models can help us achieve the goals. If companies can develop business models whereby they offer solutions to existing and prospective consumers that can drive positive social and environmental outcomes, many of those problems can be solved also in profitable ways but perhaps not all of them. Maybe there are some problems that are not possible to solve in a profitable manner. And that's where the responsibility part of sustainability uh, plays an important part, because there are shadow sides that a company is responsible for, even though it's not able to, to, to solve it in a profitable manner. 
And this is also the space where you see other kinds of not-for-profit organizations, governmental organizations and so on, step into the picture to help develop solutions together with companies that can nonetheless help us solve those big problems. In this video, we've been talking about innovations for a sustainable future. And in that future, we're going to need big and small companies innovating to solve these problems. We are going to need collaboration between companies and other not-for-profit actors, governments, and so on, to create the solutions we need to solve social and environmental problems. And we need you. We need you to go out there and identify the problems out there. We need you to design profitable and sustainable business model that wrap itself around not only one of these problems or one of the sustainable development goals, but perhaps more of them or all of them if possible.